survival of the fittest. It's not a phrase that Darwin uses in the first edition of The Origin of Species. He talks about evolution by natural selection. Now, in a way, that's more accurate from his point of view, of course, but Alfred Russell Wallace, the great naturalist, wrote to Darwin, they were friends by then, to say that uh, it was very misleading because evolution by natural selection implies that there's somebody doing the selection. It's nature or it's God even. Uh, but from Darwin's point of view, he'd done all these wonderful experiments and observed a vast amount of what he knew about domestic selection, artificial selection, in other words, how the ordinary rock dove became a powder pigeon under our control and how you got bigger and better, from our point of view, pigs. Um, very malleable, all these animals. There were a lot of mutations that you could use. You could make pigeons look just ridiculous with furry, feathery feet and so on. And uh, so that's how Darwin was thinking. Uh, but eventually he does use this, this phrase, which perhaps is misleading because evolution by natural selection uh, at least tells you that radiation happens, that species split up and they, they are adapted for their particular niches. In other words, it needn't be terrible competition, um, death and slaughter which is rather supply, implied by survival of the fittest. We tend to think of that as meaning survival of the strongest, but actually I think it's a perfectly good description.